I have this brand new custom home where all of the bedrooms has its own bathroom plus a half bathroom for your guests. Are you interested? Well then look no further because I got you. What's up YouTube fam? If you're new to my channel, well allow me to introduce myself. My name is Alexis Diaz and I'm Central Florida's real estate advisor and co-founder of the Evolve Estates Group. Here at the Evolve Estates Group, it is our passion to help people evolve in real estate. So we go all over Central Florida and surrounding areas to show you what Florida has to offer. We explore new construction, resale homes, investment opportunities, local restaurants, shops, and so much more. Now make sure you you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications so you don't miss our weekly videos. Welcome back to Auburndale, Florida. We're back here in the gated community of Water Ridge. Now, today we're gonna tour this custom home. It is a three bedroom plus an office, three and a half bathrooms, two car garage, 2,475 square foot home. Recently had a price reduction of almost $53,000. This house is coming in at $645,000. Now make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video where we're gonna go to Monarch School of Real Estate. I'm gonna break down the down payment, estimated closing costs, mortgage options, and so much more. Now let's begin your real estate evolution tour. Excited to show this home. Okay, so before we start in the home, I definitely want to mention the paved driveway, the paved porch, the wood pillars. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. If you want to sit out in your porch, you have a water view over there. It's far, but I can see the water, so it is a water view, all right? And then even just this door here, you have the three window panels and the side windows. It is already frosted, so no one can see in here. In this foyer, you have a tray ceiling. You have already a chandelier light. We're gonna have kind of like oval shape entryways, like arches. I am excited. All right, so this house has no carpet, tile all throughout the home, okay? So as you enter, to the left is gonna be the half bathroom. It has its own window. We all love the windows in the bathroom so you have your toilet and then your single sink perfect for the guests they don't have to go into any of the bedrooms because all of the other bathrooms are going to be in the bedroom so we all all of the bedrooms has their own ensuite with their walk-in closet i'm getting so excited let me stop let me i want let's show you okay so to the left, we're gonna have these double doors leading into your den. Now the den has three windows, a lot of natural light. What you see is what you get, the ceiling fan. Um, so you could use this maybe as um, an office, as a playroom, whatever your heart desires, a formal sitting area is completely up to you, but you have that option, right? So now let's walk in to this open space. Look at this kitchen. I am here for it. So we have vaulted ceilings. So the ceilings are extremely high. You have recessed lighting. You even have these big circles here where it's gonna give in like more natural light, right? Now, look at this island, guys. We know we like the island, the sinks out of the island, but still, even though we have this double stainless steel sink, it still has, the island has more than enough space. You guys, I know, you guys know that I love islands because I'm an island girl. I was born and raised in Staten Island, New York. I'm also from Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic. But besides that, I feel like, number one, the kitchen is the heart of the home. Number two, I feel like the island is the connecting piece, right? Because I know in my house my kids are surrounding the island we're cooking we're chopping it up we're I'm like here try it and they'd be like mm, too salty well then you come in here and you make this right but didn't I just ask for their opinion <laughs> I know I'm not the only one 
So we have these pendant lights here. So again, what you see is what you get. These light fixtures come with the home. As I mentioned, double stainless steel sink. You have this pull-out faucet. You guys know that this is my absolute favorite. I think there was a spider on there. Woo, this is a brand new house. So you know, there's gonna be spiders everywhere. As long as those cockroaches, I'm good. Cockroaches, I can't do. I could do spiders. Um, we have the garbage disposal here. We have granite countertops, and then you're gonna have some drawers and some cabinets in the island, as well as the dishwasher. Now on this side, we have 42 inch cabinets with the crown molding. We have this nice, sleek hood. I had to just do that, like nice, sleek hood, because that's nice. It's super sleek. It's not even like it's, you know how some hoods are super bulky. I like that. Then you have this tiling backsplash. You have the electric cooktop. Yes. So you have cabinets galore, all soft clothes. You have these large drawers here. Perfect for your, um, your pots and pans and things like that. Right. Let's just open this so that you can see. And then on this wall, I'm pretty sure that they're missing the cover to the microwave, like the plate, because this is gonna be the microwave over the oven. I absolutely love this feature. And then you have cabinets up here as well. I'm pretty sure the cabinet is, the, the frame is missing. You have a drawer here for your baking sheets and all of that stuff, right? So all of the appliances in the kitchen are frigid there. Double doors, um, yeah, just regular refrigerator now come see your coffee station this is the coffee station i already named it coffee station now you have a wine cooler that comes with this but you have more cabinets in here so this is perfect for your coffee station you can put your starbucks cups your stanley cups your coffee cups i know i'm not the only one who likes to just just collect coffee mugs i like the big ones i like the wide ones um so <laughs> here we go all right so this is the kitchen what do you guys think do you love it let me know now come on this way so this part of the house we're gonna have a walk-in pantry this is in a ginormous pantry it's l-shaped very very spacious you can fit tons of cases of water bulky snacks for the kids the grandkids the nieces the nephews the neighbors whatever you have more than enough space in here okay i absolutely love a big pantry now come on this way in this corner we're gonna have the laundry room now the laundry room does not come with the washer and dryer but it does come with the utility sink and a cabinet and a rack over where the washer and dryer will go so that's one less thing that you have to worry about if you wanted to add maybe more um cabinets down the line where the rack is you can go ahead and do so after you close okay you have a window in here but what i I really like about this laundry room is the size because on the opposite side of where the washer and dryer goes you still have some room for maybe your um your ironing board right maybe some maybe the vacuum the um, the broom and things like that so i absolutely love the size of this laundry room now this hallway is going to be considered kind of like the mud room right because this door behind me is going to be the two-car garage now this to my left you can have you have more than enough space to have have like an insert here maybe some cubbies for the kids book bags shoes and all of that stuff your keys so this could definitely be the drop-off zone if you park your car in the garage okay so let's go check out the two-car garage all right so your two-car garage what i love is that the floor is already finished you have two windows in here the garage door opener comes with the home one less thing to worry about you also have your hvac your water heater and you have a utility door the utility door is perfect just in another i feel like escape option but if you're in the garage if you're on the side of the house you could just come into the house through that utility door okay we still have a lot to cover so let's go all right, so tell me what you guys think about this house so far. Do you love it? You guys know you're not gonna hurt my feelings. I didn't build it, right? So now we're walking into the dining room slash family room, okay? Again, you have the vaulted ceilings. You have the recessed lighting. This area here where this chandelier light fixture is, is going to be where your dining table goes, right? So you can definitely have maybe like a nice rectangular um, table or whatever your heart desires circle rect uh i said rectangular 
circular, square, whatever, whatever your heart desires, whatever fits your family needs, right? So you could definitely have a table here. Maybe if you have like a hutch station there, I don't know, buffet station, or maybe you do like a custom bench type seating, up to you, but you have the space, okay? Now come into your family room. So this is gonna be most likely where your, um, your sofa is gonna be, right? Because you're gonna have your 100 inch minimum TV on this wall, you already have the plug on the top, which I absolutely love when builders do that so you don't have all of the dangling wires. You have that ceiling fan, which is, oh, it's, it's feeling really nice. It is hot. August has to be one of the hottest months in Florida. So this ceiling fan feels really, really good. As I mentioned, you have this wood look tile all throughout the home. I absolutely love it. No carpet. Now, let's talk about this backyard. So. We have two sets of sliding doors. You guys know that I keep it 100 all the time. I'm transparent. I personally wish they would have just been maybe like one big sliding door, retractable door or something like that, or maybe even French doors, right? I think French doors would have looked a lot nicer, but it's okay. I don't think it's a deal breaker, right? What do you guys think? Let me know. So anyways, you have two access points to the backyard and then you have these sliding doors, okay? Now let's go check out this backyard. All right, welcome to your backyard oasis. You have an extended covered lanai with pavers. You have this like wood beam roof. Um, <laughs> I would say it's a roof uh, that is vaulted. You have the ceiling fan, you have recessed lighting in here. You have that brown columns, just like the front of the house. I love it. You could do maybe a, like an outdoor kitchen or something like that. So I don't necessarily know that if you wanted to add a pool that you would be able to add a pool here because you do have kind of like a slope up, right? What I like about this lot though, is that you don't have someone directly behind you, right? The, the your neighbor is all the way up there. So you still have that kind of privacy. You could enclose this if you would like to. Maybe you could add a pool, I'm not sure, but the community offers three pools, two resort style and one lap pool, right? So maybe you don't need to have a pool. It's up to you. Guys, remember this is a custom uh, home community, right? So there's other options, different lots and things like that, right? So we're just showcasing this house today, but there's more options, okay? So you can make this your backyard oasis. It's super quiet, beautiful. I absolutely love it. The rain gutters come with this house, so does the irrigation. So that's something that you don't even have to think about, all right? Let's go back into this house because my house, my husband is sweating. It is hot. Let's go. All right, so off of the, let's just call this maybe like the dining area, right? You're gonna have the two bedrooms. Now let's go check out bedroom number one. Bedroom number one faces the side of the house. It has two windows in here. You have that extended baseboards, you have the recessed lighting, you have the light fixture with the ceiling fan already included, okay? What I absolutely love, love, love is that you are going to have your own bathroom. So whether you have family living with you, your children, they're gonna have their own bathroom. So you have a single sink with the same granite countertop, some drawers. You guys know that I absolutely love drawers. You have a linen closet in here as well, which I love. Great for the towels, bed sheets, any extra deodorants, soaps, and all of that. Now you have a shower tub combination. The towel doesn't go all the way up to the top. I know, I know. Um, but it does have a window. All right. So that is going to be the bathroom. Now, we also have a walk-in closet. The walk-in closet is definitely a great size. It's an L shape, but like I always say, you can always have this customized after you move in. You can hire a company, you can do DIY, go to Ikea, whatever you would like to do. There is an outlet in here as well, which I actually like, um, just in case you wanna have, I don't know, some LED lighting in there or whatever so now come on this way so in this hallway you're gonna have both the bedrooms right so let's go into bedroom number two bedroom number two faces the back of the house it also has three windows 
so there's a lot of natural light it has the recessed lighting it already comes with the ceiling fan i love it now the difference in this bedroom is going to be the closet so you have sliding doors but this is technically a walk-in closet because i have to walk in to be able to get to my clothes right so this is a walk-in closet again it just has the one shelf in here but again you can always just customize that to after you close okay now this one also has its own bathroom which i absolutely love this sink is just a little bit bigger same um granite countertops we have the light fixtures we have drawers on each side of the um the cabinets but let's talk about this toilet i do not know why this toilet is so close to the tub i'm not sure I mean, I feel like, is it just me or doesn't that matter? I mean, I don't feel like that's necessarily a deal breaker, but that's just kind of weird, right? You have a lot of space in between the cabinet to the toilet. Now you have that shower tub combination. Again, the tiling doesn't go all the way up to the top, but you do have a window. All right. So guys, let me know what you think about that. But what's good about this having a bathroom here is that it wouldn't be hard to do an outdoor kitchen because the wall behind it is going to be that outside exterior where the lanai is so then you can have like plumbing for maybe um outdoor kitchen sink or something like that so i absolutely like that about it okay so now we're gonna go to the other side of the house and we're gonna go to that master bedroom all right so if you love this house or this is not the house for you, but you're interested in evolving in real estate, well then definitely reach out to us. The best way to work with us is going to be in my YouTube, there's a link. That link is to my calendar. Now you choose whether you're a buyer, seller, realtor, investor, builder, wanting to evolve in real estate with the help of us here at the Evolve Estates Group. Choose a time. And what I like about this is that we do it via Zoom because I wanna see your beautiful faces. I also wanna have that one-on-one -on -one so that I can have that time to explain to you how we can help you here evolve in real estate okay also just as an FYI there I'm very transparent if you would like to work with us you would need to sign a buyer broker agreement okay which basically means is that we are in a partnership together and I have fiduciary responsibilities to of course treat you fairly act honestly and be me right and get you the best deal possible okay just fyi it's required in um the state of florida i don't know about everywhere else but i know here buyer broker agreements are required okay so we'll definitely have that conversation but of course in order to sign that right you want to make sure that the agent you choose is providing value to you and is going to get you the best house for the most the best house for the best price and the most amount of protection okay so that's that i just wanted to make sure that i covered that because you're gonna hear that a lot from different realtors in florida okay so if you don't know how to do the calendly and get on my just call me you'll get my assistant katrina and she'll go ahead and just put you on my calendar and we'll definitely connect now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into your master bedroom you have this beautiful archway and welcome to this oasis now you have tray ceilings you have the recessed lighting you have the three windows in here you have the ceiling fan very very nicely spaced it's facing the side back of the house okay you have the plug where your tv is gonna go here so your bed would look very very nice right against this wall in between the windows but not covering the windows you know how sometimes in a master bedroom in order for it to look good you have to cover the windows which makes no sense right but this builder thought about it which i could appreciate right all right so now let's go into your master bathroom let's talk about it so you have double sinks you have drawers in between the cabinets you guys know that that's one of my favorite favorite features you actually have quartz countertops here in the bathroom you have the light fixtures and then you're gonna have multiple windows which i could definitely appreciate now behind the door you're gonna have a linen let's just i don't want to call it a linen closet because it's actually not a closet but you have shelves there to put your towels bed sheets and whatever else your heart desires you have a separate water closet and then you're gonna have a walk-in closet nice and spacious just customize that afterwards if you did if you show if you choose to do so okay now this beautiful tile work i absolutely love this bathroom tile i love the brown in the veins i love it 
So now let's talk about this shower. So it's a step in shower. It already comes in closed. We have a bench. The towel doesn't go all the way up to the top. I know, I know, but you have a, a window in there and then you have that really nice shower head as well. Okay. So then here you also have another window and then you have this open space. My husband was like, they should have put a standalone tub. Do you agree with him? Should they have put a tub here or something? I do think it's kind of wasted space unless you guys think of something and let me know what else could you put here besides a tub would you do anything do you like the do you like that this is just an empty space right let me know I'm super super curious but I think I do agree with my husband that a really nice like even like maybe like a sideways tub standalone tub could have looked nice here maybe with the claw like the claw pedals on the bottom and it's holding the tub up oh with the goat all right I'm not an interior designer but you all right so this is the master bathroom let me know what you think let's go back to the kitchen we're gonna chop it up and don't forget we're gonna go to monarch school of real estate all right, we are back in the kitchen. You guys know it's my absolute favorite place to be. What did you think about this house? Make sure to tell me in the comments, okay? Let's do a quick recap. Again, we are in Auburndale, Florida, specifically a custom home community, gated community of Water Ridge. Now, this is a brand new custom home. It is a three bedroom plus an office, three and a half bathrooms, two car garage, coming in at 2,475 square feet. Now, coming into the home you're gonna have the office to the left the half bathroom to the right now walking into the main living space you have this beautiful kitchen you have vaulted ceilings you have the dining family room combo now you're gonna have two bedrooms with its own bathroom own walk-in closet leading into your backyard lanai you're gonna go through the sliding doors you have the covered extended lanai very very nice and spacious you even have water view from there as well now, coming back into the house, off of the family room, you're going to have the master bedroom with the tray ceilings, the three windows, and then that master bathroom with the extended double sinks. And then you have that step-in shower with, the own, with, with, with its own bench. All right. So this community offers a bunch of different things so you have three pools you have two resort style pools and then you're going to have a lap pool you have a clubhouse you have fitness center you have multiple bike and um, walking trails you even have a rv boat storage and you have a private dock that leads to the lake as well which i absolutely love now from this house you're about an hour away from downtown orlando you're about an hour away from the orlando international airport you're about 40 minutes away from Walt Disney World Universal you're about an hour away from Tampa and about 30 minutes away from Legoland within 10 minutes you're gonna get to your Walmarts Publix Aldi's all you all of your shopping and restaurants okay so there's tons and tons of things to do now the HOA for this community for this home is gonna be around $140 per month and there is no CDD okay so what I want to mention before we go to Monarch School of Real Estate is on Sundays, definitely join me on YouTube. I live stream every Sunday. It's called The Realty on Realty with me, Alexis Diaz, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is just a time where we, we just chop it up. We talk about what's going on in the market and things like that. So I absolutely love, love, love doing it with you guys. We're also opening up a new YouTube channel. It's called Sunday. Sunshine State Living. And what this channel is basically going to offer is a is a, a view on the lifestyle the living lifestyle here in Florida, right? So we tour many different places besides, you know, the big Walt Disney World, Legoland, Universal, right? We, we are going into like the different cities, seeing what different cities has to offer. So in Ocala, we've done um, downtown Ocala. We've done the Equestrian Center. We've done Marion Oaks and what that has to offer, right? We have just, <laughs> we just did um, Silver Spring State Park where we went to, um, where we went kayaking, right? So we want to showcase what Florida has to offer. So definitely make sure you subscribe to that channel. We are almost at 7,400 subscribers. We're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers 
by October, you guys have to help me out, all right? So just FYI, this is a concrete built home. I always forget to tell you, concrete built home. It is put on public sewage and water. It comes with the rain gutters and irrigation system, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Monarch School of Real Estate. Welcome to Monarch School of Real Estate. If you've been following my channel, you know that I absolutely love this. This is my favorite part of the video, aside from, you know, looking at the beautiful houses. But I love doing this because I want to educate you guys so that you become savvy consumers, all right? So I always start off by saying is that I'm not a licensed lender or a licensed tax appraiser. So the numbers on this board are solely estimates, okay? If you want more accurate numbers, reach out to me and I'll put you in contact with one of my preferred mortgage brokers and they will be able to give you more accurate numbers pertaining to your individual credit file, okay? So the price of this home is $645,000. There's no CDD, the HOA is $140 per month. Now, I do know that the seller is extremely motivated and will consider seller concessions towards closing costs, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, with this, we usually go over a few different loans. We're not gonna talk about FHA because FHA is not going to um, apply to this because as, as, FHA has a conforming limit, right? Just under $500,000, so this is not gonna work. So the price is 645. Conventional, you may qualify as a first time home buyer for 3% down payment. So if we do 3% of the purchase price, we're gonna have $19,350 as a down payment. Now, when you're buying a home, not only do you have a down payment, you also have closing costs. Closing costs and accumulation of fees such as loan origination fees, title fees, prorated taxes, transfer fees, etc. Usually around three to four percent, but I'm always super conservative and I go four percent. So four percent of six hundred and forty-five thousand dollars is gonna give us twenty-five thousand eight hundred dollars. So now what you now what you do is you add the down payment plus the closing costs, and it's gonna give you the cash to close. Cash to close is how much class how much cash you need in order to close on the property, get the keys and evolve in real estate with me. That's gonna be $45,150. Now, estimated mortgage payment, guys, take this with a grain of salt because this is just estimate, it's going to depend on your credit file, interest rates and all that. I did this based off a 6.4% interest, um, interest rate. Estimated payments is $5,278. Now, if you don't qualify for the 3% down payment, the next tier is 5%. 5% of the purchase price is $32,250. Same closing cost, we have a cash to close of $58, $58. Imagine, I'm buying it, I'm buying you one, I'm buying everybody one. So cash to close is $58,050, okay? And then the estimated mortgage payment is $5,189. Now, the next tier from 5% is 10%. Why would you pay 10%? 10% is if this is gonna be considered a second home. So let's say you are working back up north and you're gonna retire in a few years, but you want to purchase the house now, it's gonna be considered a second home, even if you don't own a home up there or wherever you live now, okay? So 10% of the purchase price is $64,500, same closing cost, we have a cash to close of $90,300. Now, with a second home, the interest rates are a little bit higher. You're not gonna have like that 6.4%, right? So I estimate it to be around $5,100 per month. Again, that's just an estimate. Now, the next tier from 10% is 20%. Now, Alexis, why would I pay 20%? So you're gonna pay 20% if you wanna avoid private mortgage insurance or if you wanna use this as an investment property to rent long-term. Now, 20% of the purchase price is $100 $129,000, same closing cost. We have a cash to close of $154,800. Estimated mortgage payment on a primary residence is gonna be $4,201, okay? Now, VA, thank you for everyone who have served our country. We would not be here without you. I am super grateful for you and your family. Now, you have 100% financing, which means you don't have to put a down payment. All you have to think about is closing costs and if you have a funding fee, okay? But closing costs are $25,800. Now, I estimated the 
mortgage to be around that five thousand dollar mark maybe a little less it's just gonna depend also if you're a hundred percent disabled veteran then you don't pay property taxes which is gonna make a big difference in your monthly mortgage payments too okay now if you wanted to buy this house in cash you can do so um you still have closing costs but not nearly as much i estimate the closing cost to be around twelve to fifteen thousand dollars and that's on the high side okay taxes taxes so taxes the first year is going to be extremely low because it's only based on the land value but the second year the house gets reassessed with the land and your taxes go up okay so i estimate the taxes to be around that ten thousand dollar mark remember i am not a licensed tax appraiser okay i just went on the website plugged in some numbers and it said the range was like 9600 to about ten thousand five hundred so i was like we're gonna do ten thousand okay now homeowners insurance homeowners insurance this is a brand new house it's not in a flood zone so i estimate it to be around two thousand um per year and it may be just less okay so remember we still have hometown heroes available hometown heroes is basically a down payment assistance program that they give you up to five percent of the loan value not to exceed thirty five thousand dollars so you could potentially do this um and it, you'll still have a little bit more um a little bit of money left over towards closing cost now it's considered a second silent mortgage so you have to pay it back but it doesn't get paid back until you either sell the house you refinance you end up renting it out or you're done paying your 30-year mortgage okay now you um there's no interest on it um you have to work at least 35 hours per week you have to be a first time home buyer you have to have at least a 640 credit score and you have to um your employer has to have a location here in florida and you cannot be on fixed income meaning you cannot be on social security disability uh retirement right you have to be working at least that 35 hours per week we have about i believe it was like 30 million left over so that's going pretty fast as i've been talking about hometown heroes since i blew in the face before it came out in july 1st okay so that's a great program to take um advantage of guys if you love my videos please comment like subscribe remember we're trying to get to that 10,000 sub count um and we just want to help as many families as we can evolve in real estate and stay tuned to our next video